Hello everyone, this is Ahmad Khalid Biasad from Alstad. And this time, we are going to learn how to compute basic statistics in R. Now let's say you want to calculate like mean, median, standard deviation, variance, correlation, or covariance. How to do that in R? Well, it's easy. Let me first list the functions and then we try some examples. For the function of mean, it is mean. That is a function for mean. For median, for the standard deviation, standard deviation. for the variance, it is a function. For the correlation, is the function, and for the covariance, that is the function. Now, let's try some examples. One example. Okay. Now, say if you have a vector x with values, say zero, one, two, three, four, four. Oops, sorry. Remember that R is case sensitive. Okay? It's very sensitive with the symbols that we have. Now we have now our object X, which is a vector with values 0, 1, 2, and so on. Okay, let's compute for the mean of it. The mean of X is, here you go. For the standard deviation of x, for the uh, median of x, and for the variance of x, that's how easy it is. Okay. Now, we can use the functions core and cov for correlation and covariance if we only have one vector. And so let's define another one. Say we have vector y with values 1, 6, 3, 2, 8, 10, 13, 5, 9. Okay. Now we can compute for our covariance in correlation because we have two vectors that we need to compare. Okay. So call of x, y, there you go, for core. A correlation of x and y. There you go. Now, for example, if you mistaken to input a number in your, um, say, vector x instead of 27, say, you input a character, which is not a number, okay? How to handle that? If you are going to compute for the mean of it. Okay, say you have here not a number. Okay, you mistaken to press, I mean, you wasn't able to input this 27 and was, and there's, you input, um, what is it, a character, which is not a number. If you enter that, and if you compute for the mean of that, you will get not a number. Now, you can actually override this behavior when setting NA that R and equal to true, which tells R to ignore NA values or not a number. Follows, okay? So type in mean x and then NA RN equal to true. If you enter that, you can get now your mean by ignoring the not, the, the NA or not a number, okay? Not the number of values, and as well as for this standard deviation, you can compute for it also. There you go. Now the mean and standard deviation functions are smart about um, data frames because they understand that each column is is a different variable, so they calculate their statistics for each column individually. Okay. Now let's have a data frame. Type in data. There we go. So there are many 
little frames here. And so we choose one of them. So let's try this twist, data frame twist. So just type in frame twist. And these are the data in twist. Now let's compute for the mean of curve, height, and volume. How is that? Well, just type in mean and then trace. There you go. You have now the, your mean for curve, height, and volume. And just ignore this warning message. I don't know why I have this. For your standard division, it is just the same. There you go. You have your standard division for curve, height, and volume. Now, variance function understands data frames too. However, it calculates the covariance between the columns of data frame and returns the covariance matrix for covariance. So if you type in cob of trees or the covariance of trees, you get this covariance matrix. Okay. Yes, that is for covariance. I mean, sorry, we are actually trying to solve for covariance, which I just explained earlier. And that is actually the same with our co covariance matrix here above. And this one is for covariance function, which also compute for the covariance matrix. For the correlation, we have core and then trees. There you go. And so those are the basic components the basic statistics computation in our. Thanks for watching.